you make of these numbers? You know, advertisers are obviously coming back, spending more, but monthly active users keep going down. And, and, and in some ways, it can be difficult to see the progress, even though Twitter says we are challenging millions of accounts every week. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, Ned Siegel just talked a lot about health. And my viewpoint is, is that if you're going to get healthy, you're going to need to lose some weight. And in the case of Twitter, losing the weight is in losing a few uh, million users. And overall, I think that is a positive step. I think Twitter's focus on the daily active user number is something that's important and needs to be done. And I think that the steps that Twitter's taken to uh, make its ad products better, to uh, reprove itself to advertisers, are starting to pay off. So uh, once this weight loss has gotten done, hopefully we'll see users uh, rejuvenate again, and then we'll see advertisers come right along. Selena, Twitter doesn't report daily active users um, and you know you start you do wonder why Absolutely. The fact that they don't report it means that there's something they're not quite comfortable with. Now, Ned Siegel did repeat a few times on the conference call that the DAU is well below half of what the MAU is. So there's a lot of room for growth. Something that was a little bit concerning in this quarter is that DAU actually went single digits for the first time in several consecutive quarters of double digit growth. So that means that their healthy cleanup efforts, the reduction of spam is actually hitting their daily active users. And that's the number that really matters. That's the number that really matters to advertisers and is showing true engagement. So at some point, they need to, they need to show that these cleanup efforts are not just going to be able to let them monetize better, but are actually going to draw more users to the platform. Right, and that's the question is whether they will, right? I mean, <coughs> certainly, Deborah, the, the cleanup efforts are incredibly important. Tr Twitter, it, and what's happening on Twitter, is driving the national and international conversation. But, you know, once Twitter gets its act together, are they actually going to add a significant number of, of, of new users, or is this the size of Twitter? Some 300 million users, is this it? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to say whether this is it or not, but I think what we're seeing now, though, is Twitter finally coming to terms with what it really is. Um, it's not a social network that's going to be the size of Instagram or Facebook. It's a platform for real-time news and engagement. And to the extent that it can continue to promote that, that uniqueness uh, from the other social platforms, I think that will draw users back. I think that, uh, that this constant uh, back and forth of how many people does Twitter have, uh, they just need to embrace what they are. And if it's 300 million, if it's 400 million, whatever it ends up being, if Twitter embraces what it is, then advertisers are going to embrace that as well. Selena, would Twitter accept that, that it's never going to be the size of Instagram or Facebook at this point? I think Jack Dorsey is a lot more focused on making a better experience for the users that they have. I don't think he's trying to get to a billion plus users like Facebook. And just echoing that earlier point, I think investors are coming to terms with the fact that this platform may never be more than a few hundred million users. But clearly, because of the huge stock jump, they're happy with the fact that they're able to monetize and get more money out of the same base of users. And the fact that MAUs went down didn't impact the revenue and profits they were able to make because they're able to better target for advertisers, deliver a better return on their investments. And Twitter is starting to offer something that Snapchat and Facebook's and other competitors can't. And it's really that real lifetime conversation and a place for them to launch new products, generate conversation among the base of users.